Hello everyone, it's Tyler from My Computer Works, and welcome back. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up email on your cell phone. Now, question we get a lot here at My Computer Works is, can I use my email from my cell phone the same way I do on my computer? Well, the answer is yes, yes you can. I'm gonna be showing you a few of the common ways you might be uh, using your email and how to do it on your cell phone, just like you do on your computer. So let's start with browser-based. First, I'm gonna open Chrome, one of the many browsers I have on my phone, and many of you probably have at home, and I'm going to pretend I have an AOL email. Now to get to my email location, just like I would on my computer, I'm gonna type in AOL.com into the URL bar in Chrome, and Chrome will take me to my email sign-in page so I can access my AOL email. Now the same applies to any email service. So let's say I had a Gmail email. Well, then I would simply type in gmail.com into that URL bar that we talked about earlier. And voila, I'm now at the sign-in page for my Gmail email. Now, many of you may know that phones use applications. Um, they're typically downloaded from your respective app store, right? So app store for your Apple devices and Google Play Store for your Google devices or Android devices. Now, many email services also have applications that can be downloaded to make checking your email as easy as opening the application. Now, here I have the Gmail app since I am a Gmail user. Now, I can sign into this app and gain access to my email account through the application. Now, notice that when I try to sign in, I get a message from the app that tells me it wants to send information to google.com. It wants to send me to google.com to sign in so that it can share information from the website to the application. Now you have to do this. It is how you get to see your email on the app. Now it's nice though, because it allows you to bypass having to open your browser, go to gmail.com and check your email from there. You can just use the application instead. It's as easy as opening the app, like I said earlier. So now you may be wondering, where do I get this app from? Earlier you mentioned an app store, right? So on the Apple devices, you have the built-in app store that's actually what it's called app store and then if you have an android phone you're going to probably have the google play store you will have the google play store it'll be built in already on the phone so let's open the app store since i have an iphone and that's what we're on right now and i'm going to search for eh, let's go with the, Yo the yahoo phone application right so uh, yahoo is another email um, service that you might have an email provider that you might use now notice when i type in yahoo and search for it the top result is a sponsored ad avoid these this is common for most search results nowadays you're gonna get a sponsored ad at the top so ignore these that's not what we want uh, right below it though we have the yahoo mail app right now this is published by yahoo right we can see that there to the app store and so i can download this to my phone and this applies like i said to any email service you will have uh respect a respective app right so if you're a yahoo user you'll use the yahoo app if you're a google user gmail user you'll use the gmail app and and if let's say you use Outlook on your computer, you can even get the Outlook app on your phone. You can download the Outlook app from the App Store. So now that you have the app installed, it's time to sign in and start sending.